it's already. Also, you can do the same thing with a method. So say you wanted to, I don't know, boil it over at the end, then you can do that just by hitting the plus button. And uh, there you go. Now, notes, you can add notes. So let's say, uh, last time made it too runny. Add more flour. This is just really, really slick. I've never ever seen an app work so intuitively, um, which is brilliant. Now, we can also add an image. So say you took a picture on your iPhone. All you do is you double click on there. Go ahead and take a picture. So let's just open up our camera here. I mean, I know that isn't the actual picture of the recipe. You can move it around, crop it, and then just hit set. So we've got the picture there, and then just click finish editing. So that is your recipe there, already done. Now, when you come to follow the recipe, you'll notice it's got all these drop downs. So because I've already got a recipe added from Nando's, I can click on other recipes by sauce, go on to the crunchy chicken one, which I've already added in the other day. Uh, you can change the yield, you can change the category, or find other similar recipes from your database. You've got the ability to also search by cuisine style. Now, this is the clever part. Let's say you don't have pepper you've run out of pepper okay so go to you can add it onto your grocery list if you've got time to go to the shop you can change it for something else so I don't know maybe you could change it for paprika or something you've also got the ability to change the amount if you didn't have enough or you can then search other recipes with that ingredient so you see there we've got this steak which has got all the recipe there already filled out. As it happens, that one's in German, so perhaps maybe not easy to read, but you've also got within the app ability to search through ingredients and recipes, not just ones that you've added, but ones that are online. So if we go into search results, let's type in steak. Now you see there, it's uploaded a load of steak recipes. All you need to do, if you want to cook it, is you've noticed there's a cook button down here. Click on that. Now you can do speech recognition. I'm not joking, this is a very, very clever application. But in order to get the speech recognition working the best, they do recommend that you calibrate it. So you place your computer in the kitchen, Stand several feet away from it, and then that should help you in calibrating it because you'll be able to zoom in and out of the screen and whatnot so you're able to see it properly. So, if you don't want to see that message again, just tick it and you, you never will do. Now, go on to full screen mode. This is the good recipe that you will be looking at during your cooking spell. Now, you'll notice you've got the ability to drag them around, change how it looks. If you wanted it more kind of compact, say you're doing it on a 13 inch MacBook Pro, then you just play around with the ingredient size um, and that should help you in cutting it down. As it happens, we're on a 27 inch iMac, so that's not a problem. But this is where the app kind of gets really awesome. So you see here, we've got this button, which is play recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that now. Uh, it's just skipped skipped ahead there a little bit. But you see the general idea. The app will actually speak out the recipe instructions. So let's say you've got your fingers in a bowl of chicken that you're marinating, which is uncooked. Uh, it's never a good idea to combine uncooked food items with your computer. So all you need to do is start the app speaking, listen along, but you've still got them there on the screen for you to read and you can follow the recipe just like that. Now that is a fantastic feature of this app, one of the best. You don't have to have it speaking, you can actually have it 
just so you hit down uh, or even on the keyboard you can just hit up and down with one finger to go between each step that's a very cool feature and really really makes this app worth its weight in gold so you can see there I've shown you the import feature I've shown you the search features you've got all kinds of categories like recently cooked categories uh, grocery lists that you need to buy which obviously you can print out or email to yourself it's just a very very clever app um, I really can't recommend it enough if you're into cooking if you're interested in getting your cooking more organized and just enjoying your cooking a lot more because now you've got this access to thousands of recipes online you'll never have to cook the same thing twice again you can just find new and interesting recipes all the time so the app is called sous chef it's made by acacia tree software which is acacia tree software.com the apps available for thirty dollars but if you're into food this is a really seriously fantastic application so my name is ben gribbin this has been another video review for apple reviews and you can find more reviews online at applereviews.com thanks very much guys and have a nice day